Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft has already rolled out the Moment 1 and Moment 2 feature updates, and last week we received the Moment 3 update, which brought the third wave of new features, as I have been posting for Windows 11 22H2. And in a video I did post just a couple of days ago, um, which I'll leave a link to in the description, as it will provide you with a lot more info, uh, the fourth update, which we will be getting uh, in the latter half of this year, 2023, is also known as Windows 11 23H2 and will be the next feature update, which will be based on Windows 11 version 22H2 and um, will be released using only a small enablement package. And as mentioned in that video, um, Microsoft is starting to take on the same kind of form as they are using with the Windows 10 feature updates by updating Windows 11, just using a small enablement package. Now, as mentioned, that video I'll leave down below because it will provide you with a lot more information if you would be interested. But uh, just to talk about the Moment 4 23H2 feature update. Um, Microsoft has since confirmed that Windows 11 23H2 will be the second official feature update rolling out in September and or October of this year, 2023. And the 23 stands for the year of the update and the H2 means it's rolling out in the second half of the year. Now, um, as mentioned, this isn't going to be a very big update. And Microsoft are planning to use a small enablement package, um, as mentioned, um, which will be used to turn on hidden features which will be found uh, in the feature update. And those hidden features um, that will be rolling out with the 23H2 feature update will be called the Moment 4 update, which will bring the new wave and the fourth wave of features. Now, although 23H2 will be rolling out using a small enablement package, if you have this setting turned on, very similar to the Moment 3 update, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Um, although it will, 23H2 will be rolled out using a small enablement package with this setting turned on, as I have been posting recent, recently, if we had to update history, um, this configuration update will be downloaded with that setting enabled, which will bring the fourth wave of new features, uh, the Moment 4 feature update with Windows 11 23H2. Now, um, as I mentioned in that previous video, um, 23H2 could be the last so-called feature update for Windows 11 because um, Microsoft um, is supposedly already working on Windows 12, which will be arriving in the latter half of next year, 2024. And if you want more info regarding Windows 12, which I'm not going to get into too much in this video, I have posted previous videos and you can just head down to the bottom of the homepage on this YouTube channel and there is a playlist there. And I might leave that playlist as part of um, the actual screen cards at the end of this video. So go check that out in the end screen. Now getting back to Windows 11 23H2 um, for the focus of this video. Um, just to have a look at some of the um, new features that will be rolling out, which are currently being tested in the dev channel in the Insider program. And uh, um, this is by no means a comprehensive list. I've just taken one or two features in case you would be interested just to keep you updated and in the loop as more or less what to expect. And obviously this list can change um, leading up to the 23H2 rollout of the feature update. Now, um, in no particular order, um, the first is never combined mode which um, will basically allow your apps to be individually displayed with labels on the taskbar, as we can see from the screenshot provided. And uh, um, this is currently being tested uh, in the latest dev channel build 23466, which I did post on last week, and I'll leave a link to that video down below uh, if you would be interested. But um, the never combined mode basically will let you be able to see each window of your applications on the taskbar individually as well as their corresponding labels as we can see in the screenshot and you'll be able to turn on this feature by navigating and right clicking on your taskbar taskbar settings and when it does roll out um, you'll find it here under taskbar behaviors where you can turn on never combined mode which will then bring the never combined taskbar um, setting to Windows 11 with that 23H2 feature update. And now moving on to another feature um, that could be making its way with the Moment 4 feature update 
is a new hover experience for the search box and search highlight. Now, currently in the stable version, when you have the search box enabled on the taskbar, if you hover over that, nothing happens. You have to click on the search box to enable the search fly out menu. Now, this could all be set to change. And uh, um, this Microsoft says they are aiming to create a more engaging search experience by invoking the search fly out when you hover over the search box Gleam. So as mentioned, when you hover over that with after installing 23H2 with the Moment 4 update, hovering over will then invoke and activate the search flyout, which um, you, could, you can also get to that setting by right-clicking on your um, taskbar, head to taskbar settings, and that will be part of the search, uh, the search for the um, search and the search box regarding your taskbar search uh, when that does roll out with the Windows 11 23H2 Moment 4 feature update. Now, just focusing on a couple of others and just a quick a couple of mentions as not to make this video too drawn out. Um, the File Explorer will be also getting some uh, modern visual redesigns as I have been posting. And we are expecting to see a new address bar, search bar, and fluent design changes and elements and visual redesign changes rolling out. And I did post on that um, last week, and I'll leave a link to that video down below. And another new feature we could see roll out with 23H2 will be the Windows Copilot, which is a new AR hub and feature coming to Windows 11's desktop. And I also posted on that, and I'll leave a link um, down below as well to that video. So a lot going on uh, with the File Explorer, which is a key component um, of the operating system, as many of you know. And then obviously Windows Copilot, which will bring a hub where you can use AR, very similar to the new Bing search with that 23H2 feature update. And then um, if we head back to the start menu, um, recommended will be getting renamed to for you. So recommended will get a name change to for you. And obviously this means that Microsoft will recommend um, and show you tips and shortcuts and info about um, different apps uh, in Windows 11. And you'll also be able to turn um, those recommendations off in the new for you section um, that by heading to the start menu settings in your actual settings. So that's just a quick short overview of some of the features we can expect to see roll out with the Moment 4 23H2 feature update rolling out um, um, later this year in September and or October. And those features are currently being tested currently in the dev channel and those will be rolling out as mentioned with the 23H2 feature update. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.